<clears throat> Is it gonna do it? Okay. Hey guys, um, so two weeks ago I got my tonsils out and it hurt a lot. So for about two weeks I was having really bad migraines and super bad sleep apnea and waking up in the night and it was really shitty. And um, <laughs> so I went to my doctor and he checked my eyes and they were like, he was like, oh, this is weird. We, you, my, mm, you might have brain cancer. I was like, hmm, what? So, what, what? Because I already had cancer once. So I was like, really God, like really twice? That's excessive, like that's real excessive. So he basically said, you have to go get an MRI or um, you're a dick. So he said, go out into the parking lot and find a place to get an MRI. We went to 17 different places down the peninsula. 17. You know how boring that is? Very. So we finally got to this place and they basically told me that I can't have it for a week. I can't have my MRI to see if I have a tumor at the back of my hand for a week. And I was like, <laughs> great. So I spent a week thinking I had cancer, which is awesome, always great to think. Um, I don't know why the doctor didn't think to check my throat, because that would have been better. So I finally got into the MRI, and it was kind of terrible. <laughs> like, it was the worst MRI I've ever had. I usually, I don't mind MRIs, because they're literally just being put into, like, a circular coffin. Wow. <laughs> that should probably disturb me. Now, I'm usually alright with MRIs, but... This one was particularly bad because I was really scared because of the whole tumor thing and like <sighs> they um it was interesting so I get put into the machine and they basically said um, we don't know if your jaw is gonna fly out of your face because when I had cancer previously they put a graft in my face of my hip bone and they used a metal plate and I was like <sighs> so <laughs> I might die getting an MRI Great. So I get on the table to be put into the machine and they said, oh, we're gonna put on some music for you. Like, hopefully we'll find a station that you like instead of like Golden Oldies because of this old woman who was in before me was like listening to Golden Oldies. I don't so know. they put on Nova, which is like a pop music-y sort of for teens shitty channel. I don't mind because I'm a, a shit poster and I like shit music. <laughs> and as soon as they turn the machine off, they turn the radio off. Like, not on, they turned it off, they turned it off. So all I can hear is this machine like screaming at me and I'm in like this tomb and I was like, I start freaking out but I can't move so I'm like, <sighs> which is really not a good look for anybody who's looking at you. But I kept calm because I had to and um, I was in there for 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So we got my MRI and then I went to the doctors and they basically said, you don't have a tumor. Yeah, this is after another week of waiting, so two weeks thinking I had cancer. What's worse is when I went in, the doctor wasn't there, but he actually left me a message at the <laughs> on voicemail that night, like later that night. So I pick up the voicemail and he basically tells me that I don't have a massive brain tumor, but I have massive tonsils that need to be removed. <laughs> and so he set up a meeting for me and my um, ENT, which is ear, nose and throat doctor, um, later that week. And that was pretty interesting, like it wasn't too bad meeting the ENT who I, I'd met before because I went pre like I went deaf for a while and I could not hear but I met him <laughs> and it actually had cleared up that day so I went in and I had perfect hearing and I was like well this is embarrassing. So he books me in for surgery on the holidays, my two week break. <laughs> I'm in year 12, I get two week break and I had to spend it in hospital and I was like, no, I don't want to. The surgery wasn't even the bad part, it was like the recovery. So I get put into surgery uh, a week after on my school holidays, my two week break, my only holidays for three months. Great. So I get there, um, seven o'clock in the morning and I actually ended up getting in at 12. That's how long you have to wait for these things because you check in at seven and then you wait until the doctor is ready to cut you open. So I'm waiting in this room and I'm, like two other people came in, they were kind of super snooty, but they were like my age and I was like, you are at a hospital, You're, we, we are at the same hospital, dude. Like, what are you doing? And so they made me get into a dress or the, yeah, it's pretty much, it's a dress. And um, I wasn't allowed socks or a shirt or pants. I was just allowed underwear and these like 
weird surgery socks they give you, which were not ideal. And then I got to meet my anaesthetist, who was super nice. I don't even know his name, but when I went in there, he was super friendly, blah blah blah. Like, he was super nice. Like, he was joking around. He was like, oh, see, this isn't going to be too bad. I got mine out when I was 30, and it wasn't that bad, so you'll survive. And I was like, okay, um, it isn't a competition. And then he said, oh, but it, if it was, I just won. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Damn. So, since I was joking with him, I think he liked me as a person, so he actually let me get my surgery first. Wait, did he like me or did he hate me? He might have hated me. <laughs> and the surgery wasn't so bad, like, he was so good. I didn't even feel the needle go in, like, it was really, really well done. And so I woke up in ICU because I, I had some trouble breathing and I, like, almost died during surgery. Like, my whole family does that. We're quitters. <laughs> We're quitters. And as soon as I woke up, I instantly put my hands in my mouth to see if they were gone. The nurses did not like that. <laughs> so they moved me to my room and it was it was really nice. I got my own room because I had private health and it was it was real nice. I got Wi-Fi. Yeah, I was too drugged out to use it, but I got and it. Morphine for me gives me super terrible hallucinations. Like I thought I had schizophrenia because I could like hear voices, I was seeing things, like it was crazy. Late at night after my family had gone home, I put the TV on, it was like 12 o'clock in the morning and um, I guess I had it too loud and I just saw this thing in the corner of my eye and it looked like a nurse but it was like creepy and demonic and creepy and like, you know how in the ring how like whenever she moves she cracks, it's like that, like she cracked over like crick crack. She crackles over to me and she snatches the remote out of my hand and then screams in my face. She's like, she's like this far away from my face and she screams in my face and then she turns the TV off and then she throws the remote and then like when she did that I like came out of it and I was holding the remote but I turned the TV off. I was like, fuck, that's either a ghost or I'm really high. <laughs> and the pain was pretty bad, like the pain was super bad, like whenever I... <laughs> the pain was really bad, the pain was super bad, it was like nothing I'd ever felt. It was like tightness. Like it felt like someone had like knotted, like laced a boot in my throat. It's such a weird analogy. <laughs> but whenever I'd swallow it would get super tight and it'd hurt and it was just like, it was shitty but like I could understand why it was happening which I think helped me rationalize it and make it hurt less. All in all it wasn't too bad. Like I'm still kind of still getting over it. Like I still have a bit of tightness and like eating sometimes hurts but um we all know I'm good at that. Anyway, it's been super good. Like, if you need to, totally get your tonsils out. It's not that terrible, but it's really not good. <laughs> I've filmed this video like three times already, but like I look like shit every single time. So I had to re-film over and over and over again. <sighs> so anyway, if you'd like to hear about more of my experiences, you should totally leave down in the comments what you'd like to see. Okay, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and you should totally subscribe to me, because I make videos every weekend, when I'm not busy, which is most of the time, when I'm not procrastinating, which is most of the time. <laughs>